In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Shapeshift, which is the new add-on to MetaMask that allows the MetaMask browser wallet to be multi-chain, cross-chain. So you'll be able to use it for Ethereum, but also for other blockchains, including Bitcoin, Litecoin, Cosmos, and others. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to app.shapeshift.com. You're gonna to want to connect your wallet. Of course, I recommend using MetaMask since this experience was designed for the MetaMask wallet. Once you connect your MetaMask wallet, you're going to pair it. And now the support is available using Shapeshift to trade and to interact with all of these different blockchains, not just Ethereum. Okay, and the Shapeshift multi-chain MetaMask snap is now installed. So what can we do here? Well, for starters, you can look at your wallet and you can see the different assets that you have. In this case, I have some ETH and some other ERC20 tokens on the different Ethereum networks. But I don't currently have any Bitcoin, Litecoin, Dogecoin, or any of these other cryptocurrencies. So what I'm gonna do actually is send some Bitcoin to myself and then I'll show you how you can actually trade between Bitcoin and other crypto networks. So when you select an asset, you can either buy and sell directly in here, although I'm not gonna do that because these usually charge higher fees, or you can hit the receive button and then you'll be able to copy your wallet address and then send some Bitcoin to yourself. So I have a small amount of Bitcoin here and I'm gonna send it to my new wallet. I'm gonna hit max, I'm gonna paste in the destination address and hit send. And this is with the Zion application, which is another new way that you can use MetaMask to interact with the Bitcoin network. But I'm going to approve this transaction here and then we'll go back over. So you can see that I've already received the funds here and now I have about $10 worth of Bitcoin in my new Shapeshift wallet. And this is showing that I've received it, although it's pending still, it hasn't actually been fully confirmed yet. Now, while we wait for this transaction to be confirmed so that I can actually make a swap, let me show you what else you can do in this wallet. You can interact with different DeFi applications, meaning that you can earn interest on your crypto assets, including Bitcoin now, not just Ethereum. And this is a major, major upgrade to the MetaMask interface. Of course, you can also buy crypto directly in this wallet, although that's not something I'm interested in now. On the Assets tab, you can explore all of the different options that are available to you. So now you can actually interact with the Cosmos ecosystem as well as many others. There's some missions that you can complete here to get free NFTs and to potentially win some USDC. And this dApps tab is gonna show you all of the different applications that you can now connect the Shapeshift slash MetaMask wallet to, including ThorSwap, which is the functionality that's been integrated to allow you to trade between different crypto networks. But now going back to the main feature of this, which is the trade and bridge feature. Now that my Bitcoin transaction has been confirmed, I can go into the trade and bridge section and I can actually swap it out for a different asset on a different chain. So you can see all of the different options here. I can swap Bitcoin for Ethereum on the Ethereum network, or I can swap it for a stable coin on the Ethereum network or on a different network. I can swap it for Dogecoin, Litecoin. And this is really an amazing functionality because you don't have to then send your crypto assets to a centralized exchange to be able to make transactions like this. So let's try swapping some Bitcoin for some Ethereum on the Ethereum network. Ah, uh, okay, I realize now that I unfortunately don't have enough Bitcoin for the minimum amount to make this transaction, but I could swap ETH into Bitcoin. So you can see that I have now the option to make this transaction for approximately $2.75 using ThorChain. So if I were to hit preview trade, I'm gonna see the specs of this. I would be trading 0.02 ETH into 0.00092678 Bitcoin. But actually it's not just the transaction fee of 275, there would be also a gas fee for the Ethereum network as well. And that would eat into the trade amount. So you can see I've got a little notification here popping up saying that the gas fee exceeds 8% of the trade amount. So yes, obviously that's a pretty expensive trade and I would lose about $8 on that. So I'm actually not gonna do that right now because I'm not interested in just burning money for no reason. But this shows you exactly how it works. If I wanted to, I would hit confirm trade and then MetaMask would pop up asking me to confirm the transaction. So I'll show you. 
Now I'm just going to hit cancel and reject that transaction because I don't want to pay the gas fees, but this is a nice feature. And I guess it would really only be relevant if you're trying to transact larger amounts. So if you had you know, a couple hundred dollars worth, a couple thousand or who knows how much, then you could do that through here. But using these dust amounts that I'm using for this tutorial, it doesn't quite work. The unit economics of it don't make sense. Anyways, this is a great new feature on MetaMask and I highly recommend you check it out. Although of course, don't put anything with too much value into it because you want to manage your risk in crypto. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you found this useful and have a great day.